guys and welcome to my 22nd video. Thank you so much for joining me if you are a return subscriber or hello if you are new. My name is Adrena and I'm an Australian teacher, a teacher's pay teacher seller and a mum. So things get a little bit crazy around here. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I earned in November selling clip art on teachers pay teachers. Now for anyone that doesn't know I do currently have two stores so two teachers pay teachers stores. My my first store is a resource, like a teaching resource store, and my second store, this one, Talazo Clip Art, which is linked to this YouTube channel, is basically all clip art. So in this video, I'm going to be kind of comparing the two and just giving you guys a little bit of an insight as to what, what I was able to earn in November and just kind of give you a bit of like some thinkings behind what happened through the month. Just a quick disclaimer before we jump in, I'm just letting you guys know if money triggers you or anything of the sort then please click out of the video this is just an informational kind of educational video to basically just share my journey with you guys as you know I just started to Lazo clip art this year so for me because I had the store my first store in I started my first store in March of 2020 uh, I've just started this Talazo Clip Art store in May of 2021. It's just been really interesting to kind of compare the two. So that's why I'm sharing. So for anyone that is thinking possibly, is it worth it for me to, you know, start a clip art store? Then I'm hoping that maybe by sharing some of this data that it might, and just being transparent you guys, just showing you what I've earned uh, to see if that is something that you would be interested in trialing out for yourself or just kind of if you just... What if you are curious if you already have your own teachers pay teachers store and you're just curious as to what other people are earning then then this is just me sharing that so alrighties guys so let's get into it let's open up teachers pay teachers so this is my store Talazo clip art and we are looking at the amount of money I earned in my seventh month on teachers pay teachers for Talazo clip art so let's go up and let's go to my dashboard and we're going to select and you guys this is pretty impressive this is for this month I've already earned ten dollars already this month in December but we're not looking at December we're actually going to be looking at November so let's do custom range and so let's apply so for November, I earned a total of $68.48. Now in October, I did actually earn a little bit more than that. In October, I earned $72.52. Now in November, I earned $68.48. Now I do want to talk a little bit about my month here because there are a few things that I just want to address and what I kind of found. So what I noticed was I actually sold, I think around November 6th or it might have even been around here, I actually sold a bundle, which was really cool because the same day I actually made my bundle YouTube video was the same day I actually sold the bundle that I made. So that was really interesting because I sold that on the same day. But the thing was, it, I'm pretty sure the traffic wasn't actually from YouTube. So it wasn't someone that had watched my video and decided to buy it. It was just organically from, I guess, one of my followers on Talazo Clipart, as far as what I could see on my traffic kind of tab. Now, I also want to say, so this, the beginning of November started off like kind of slow, well, kind of kind of slowish, but kind of like, like November 1st, I was like, no sales, November 2nd, no sales, as you can see. And then by November, f f no, by November 3rd, we had a couple sales here. We had a little bit of a dip and then we went up a little bit higher, a dip, and then had a little bit more of a, uh, we had a few sales through November 9, 10, and then kind of went down and then we had one little spike on November 13 and November 14. And then we literally, it was like crickets. It was like crickets. And that's, I, I think from what I have seen on some of the Facebook groups that I'm following, apparently like this is around the time that you guys in America um, have like a bit of a break. So this is a bit different to Australia because we don't have any breaks during this time. So... It was just really interesting to kind of see 
uh, you know, there was no sales at all. But look, this is the thing about TPT. It is a bit season. It's like a bit seasonal, isn't it? So it's like at certain parts of the year, in certain parts of the year, uh, it'll be quieter and it'll be more busy in some parts. And I think a lot of people too maybe knew that there was a sale coming towards the end of November. So they might have chosen also to wait for that sale to purchase anything. But I'm just showing you this because look, it is really interesting how sales can work, especially when you are a newer seller. Like this is my seventh month on Teachers Pay Teachers. And it's it's just like good to kind of see how you get dips and that that it's that is really normal, I think. And yeah, like you can see here, like there was a good week and so week or so that I, you know, didn't have any sales at all. And when you look on your dashboard, you're like, oh, but at the same token, it's like, you know, people are maybe having their break and then just not thinking about TPT or buying products at this point. And especially with what I am selling on Talazo Clip Art, it's literally clip art. So it's like if there's no one, if the teachers aren't creating things for their classroom, they might not have much of a need to, you know, buy clip art, which is totally understandable. So I will just speak also about the sale. So for me, on the tw- on November 29, I had a pretty actually good day. I had tw- like a sale of $21.12 on that day. And that's uh, like one of the biggest <laughs> sale days that I've sort of had. And one thing that has happened hasn't happened to me before, but I had one customer buy four things from my store, which I was like, "Oh my goodness, that is amazing! How nice of them to like want to invest in that clip art." And they obviously were waiting for it to become on sale, and they purchased four things from me. And that had, like I said, has never happened to me before. So that kind of was something that I was really grateful for, and something that I was like excited to see. And not only that, this person left amazing feedback on my products, which I was really, that literally just like warmed my heart. So I really was so thankful for that. And yeah, the second day of the sale, November 30th, wasn't as high, but I did have a couple things that were sold, which was still good. And like I always say, you guys, like, especially when you're getting into it, like I am just definitely brand new at this still really. Uh, but like every dollar is, you know, something, every sale counts. And, you know, especially when you're like a stay at home mom or like you're doing something and this is just supplemental, like every dollar does count. And, you know, it's really nice to be able to see like s- someone's bought something at least, you know, which is really awesome for me. And like, even though I didn't like in my obviously planning and in my goal setting, I had my goal at $120 this month. And, you know, even though I earned less than what I did last month, I'm still really happy that I've made sales. And look, that's just coming from a place of gratitude because it is what it is when it comes to this, like with with this business. I don't have any sort of outside marketing that I can really say that I'm promoting anyone to kind of like, I don't have a blog. I don't have a website. I don't have an Instagram. I don't have a, I think I've got a Pinterest, but I I have literally only posted one thing on Pinterest. And it is literally, I think something that is driving traffic to my YouTube rather than my teachers pay teachers for Talazo clip art. Now I do have a Pinterest for my other store, but, uh, this is, you know, just something that this channel is more, I'm talking about this from Talazo Clip Art's perspective to show you what it's like, you know, in recent times of how much money you can kind of make on Teachers Pay Teachers. Because I know when people are starting out, they're kind of wanting to gauge a idea, at least for me, I was when I started out, uh, like in March of 2020 for my first store, you know, I was looking at YouTube videos and seeing in you know, for anyone that's following me, I'm sure that you guys all know Becca Davis as well. She's an amazing, amazing teacherpreneur and just amazing teacher and just like an amazing person. 
from what I can see of her and she you know she's like goals she's really put in the work and put in the effort and you have seen that growth over her store so I just want to show you guys what it's like if you're thinking about starting also a Teachers Pay Teachers in either 2021 or even next year 2022 kind of what is what's kind of happening so like Teachers Pay Teachers everyone says it's a marathon not a sprint and I'm just also showing you guys that this is something that does take time, you know. When I started Talazo in the beginning of this year, I honestly had no idea whether I even earn money selling clip art and I kind of almost talked myself out of it and I'm glad I didn't because I'm just glad I stuck stuck with it because you know, look, even though it's not my budget what I wanted to aim for $120 for this month, $68 is still money that I can do something with to invest back into my business or, you know, do something with that money. And so that's really I'm grateful for that and like I think when you have months that you're down, you know, it's good to kind of reflect and see, okay, well, how can I either increase uh, the products or the, you know, my productivity or how can I help serve others with more things that I can produce and also just kind of think about like, okay, you know, what am I going to do moving forward to help grow the business? So that's kind of just like some of my thoughts about the matter. And again, because we're coming to the end of the year, like I guess in America, from what I've kind of gauged, things are slowing down a bit over there and you guys have a bit of a holiday. So I'm almost expecting December to be a little quiet. You know, maybe the next two weeks might have some sales, but then after that, then in December, like I'm feeling as though it might be more quiet, but that'll be really interesting when I share my my December income report to see how we go with that. But yeah, like I said, even though I didn't uh, earn my goal number, I'm still happy and I'm still proud of that. And if you are from Australia and you are, you know, earning this, for us, this $68 actually probably is more closer to like $80 or $90 for us Australian once it's converted because obviously the US dollar is stronger than Australian dollar. So for us, whenever I see that number, like even if it's a like lowish number, I know that I'm going to get more than what the number says because when it transfers over to Australian dollars, it's more if that makes any sense to anyone. <laughs> so that's kind of good for us as uh, Australian sellers in that kind of token. Now, so another thing I want to just kind of have a look at and show you guys. So that's covered my earnings and just a little bit about my thoughts. Um, again, I'm not a analyst specialist or anything of the sort. I'm just here to kind of share my journey, share my growth, share my learnings. And so I'm just, I don't even know what to do with this at this point. Like I can see this, it says 2% conversion rate. Now I have heard multiple different things about convers, conversion rates and it can be very individual to particular products. And I'm still learning a bit more about this, but that's, if anyone that knows how to read this, this is kind of what is coming up in my data. Views. Now I had a 974 views. So that's at least views. Look, it looks like there's been views every day, which is kind of good. And even though people aren't buying now, it doesn't mean that they might not buy in the future. So that's something I guess to be like, just happy about, I guess, <laughs> like at least I'm getting views on some products. But um, yeah, let's just have a look. So this month, I not this month, sorry, November, we're in December now. November, I sold 17 different products or units sold. And I don't have any of those to really worry about. So let's just have a look at traffic now. So I can see, oh, this is another thing that I wanted to actually mention. So in my traffic, so you can see Teachers Pay Teachers is the winner here at $61.28. So that's all from Teachers Pay Teachers where that traffic is being brought. Like I said, I don't have an Instagram. I don't have a Pinterest that's like thriving. I don't have a blog. I don't have a website. You know, I don't have any of those things. I'm very just on TPT as TPT. And I do have obviously my YouTube that I've started, but I wouldn't say that's, I'm more trying to educate on my YouTube rather than kind of drive sales, if that makes any sense. So my YouTube has, you can see no conversion. So anyone that has come 
over from YouTube is just, I guess, kind of having a look around, but no one has bought anything from what I can see in this, you know, traffic source data. Uh, I can see though, this is something that is really interesting because I've never had this before from what I have seen. I earn $7.20 through Google AdWords. So I wonder if that's from an SEO point of view, if like someone searched up a particular thing and has found it and have decided to purchase it. That's really interesting because that's never happened. I've never seen that before on my traffic before. So then you can kind of see, you know, some other people, uh, I don't even know, like it looks like there's some other people's like websites that they have kind of I don't even know how to <laughs> interpret this, you guys. But anyway, you can kind of see that's kind of my traffic and that's basically that. And so, yeah, there's no other really outside sources that I'm bringing traffic in. So at this point, that's kind of just my earnings for this month, $61.28. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to show you obviously how I track this. And if you are wanting to know kind of what I earned in my previous month, I do have YouTube videos that go through that as well. So feel free. I'll put like the thumbnail of what they look like for each of those. And you can have a little watch of that if you haven't already. Otherwise, uh, you might just want to watch this part here because I'm going to show you what I kind of have earned overall. So let's have a little look. So, so I'm going to now track this in my Excel tracker that I have. So for anyone that is just watching this for the first time, I track my data and you can see obviously I'm here for the long term you guys because I've got it planned up to 2026 so here November uh, you can kind of see so I started in May 2020 this is my premium membership I upgraded and I think it was so I started on 1st of May and I upgraded on the 23rd of May after I made my first sale and so I went from $5.70 June was $4.80 July was $90.80 and five cents and then August came around that was like the back to school sale and I earned a whopping $313.70 and that was amazing to me because that was the most I had ever earned on TPT from both my stores and this store was so new still so that was like really shocking to me and then September it went quite a big drop from $313 to $82.32 and then we've just slowly started dropping here again in October $72.57 sorry and then we, um, now in November, let's record this. We had earned $68.48. $68 and so because I didn't make my budget, I'm just going to put a little red one there. I just like to see this visually to kind of see what, um, you know, months I'm earning and making my budget. So again, like I said, I'm going to still keep 120 I have a feeling though December's going to be sort of worse. I don't know why, but I think because, you know, it's coming to the end of the year, I think like I might probably earn less than $60, you know, in December. I'm not expecting anything too crazy for December in this month. Um, so that's just something also to see how we go in December. Like, let's see if we even, like I said, I'm doubtful I'm going to meet this number, but I'm going to keep it there just for, just to see. And we'll just keep it. I'm just going to keep it to at $120, even going into next year to see if I can earn $120. So yeah, let's just stick it to that. And um, it's, I'm going to kind of be excited to kind of see what I actually earned here. Cause I am expecting like a lot lower than any other month so let's see how we go for December this year so I also um, do record this manually in my planner which I will show you um, just maybe a little bit after this but I am going to show you also just for anyone that is wondering because I know that you guys are keeping up to date for those people that have been following along like I said this is my second store I started this store this year and my first store I started I'm going to just show and share the analytics for that and I'll give you an overall total of what I've earned on TPT all up. So I'm just going to log into my other store. So I'm going to do that. Okay, guys, so I've just logged into my other resource store. And as you can see, so the month of November, I have earned $225.71. Sense. So that's a lot more than my obviously Talazo clip art. The only reason I'm sharing this, because um, I, I will share my other store with you guys in time. I just have to 
sort out a few things on there that I want to make sure that I'm happy with before I give you the link to have a look at that other store because like I said I want to update a few things that need updating and sort a few things out with that particular store before I go sharing that and yeah I'm just obviously I started my first store in March of 2020 so you can see now it's December of 2021 so been a good year and a bit for me to get to this point and you know there when I first started on my first store I never thought that I'd be earning a couple hundred dollars per month on this so I just want for anyone that's starting like you know have some hope because it does over time it really does start to add up and this I'm even though for my first store my budget here was $250 but I got to $225.71 and that's still amazing to me like every sale counts every you know everything adds up doesn't it and so uh like I was so happy that when I looked at my data from this month November to last year in November for my first store I have uh like I have made more than I did last year so that shows me that growth is happening and it kind of makes me happy too because on my first store I only uploaded like one product in November so it's showing me that the hard work that I've put in to um for some of the other older products are still st- are still selling and as you can see like there was a couple of days where there were absolutely no sales like November 3rd sorry November 23rd November 24th and 25th there's like no sales whatsoever but for the most part we have had quite a few little bit of um sales throughout the month and it's interesting because like I say November for this because it's a resource store when I look at this and I compare the data to Talazo Clipart November 29th I heard more on Talazo Clipart than I did in my resource store so that was really super interesting so it seems to me like maybe some people that when they come to these big sales that are wanting to invest in Clipart for product creation and you know like like obviously November 29th and 20 so the 30th um sorry November 30th I earned a bit more on this first draw than I did in Talazo Clipper but that first sale day I earned more in Talazo so that's super interesting but I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys and I'm going to price that up so what have we got $225.00 and 71 cents from my first store and then we've got on my second store plus 68 dollars and 48 cents so that will come to a that comes to a total of 294 dollars and 19 cents so again if you're in australia and you are watching this that so for both my stores added up that is going to be more than 300 that might even be close to like 350 dollars australian dollars um which is you know that's 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 good supplemental money you guys especially from like a stay-at-home mom that does do like work one day a week uh so yeah that's just something that's really helpful especially around this christmas period time as well like i just thought i'd share that for anyone that is you know thinking about starting a tpt or just kind of like wanting to know a journey of someone's stores like i like to share both of them just so you can kind of get a comparison of like what is happening in a resource store versus a clip art store and so yeah that's basically that so i hope you found that kind of interesting but i find all this kind of interesting and i'll let's just quickly have a look at the conversions on this so a four percent conversion on this first store views so yeah this is interesting so obviously my views in Talazo was like 900 and something and then now here's 2709 views so there's obviously a lot more views and it's the it's been out longer obviously this store so yeah interesting units sold has been 107 compared to 17 that I sold in Talazo so you can just kind of see you know the longer that you add it the more growth usually is going to kind of come with that and you know I just want to share that with you guys for anyone that is like wondering how much you know is is possible in this way like again this money that I'm showing you may be like really <laughs> peanuts to you and you might be like oh that's not a lot of money but you know for me and for you know maybe a lot of you know newer sellers like this even though it's 
doesn't sound that much or even for me like I said every dollar counts you guys like every dollar truly does count and especially when you are home and you are a mum and you've gone from you know being a full-time teacher having a certain salary that you're used to to like working one day a week if they call you in uh, having this side on the side knowing that you're trying to build something really you know it really helps you mentally to like keep on going because you know your hard work will pay off if you just keep at it so it's just yeah that's kind of just what I want to share and yeah that's kind of that (laughs) okay guys so one last thing I wanted to quickly show you just for those people that are starting out that want to kind of get a bit more into their I guess their data I just want to show you basically because something I find really interesting but if you go to your name and you go to sales report And I'm going to blur this area because there's personal details, obviously. So you won't see that there in the video. But um, that's why I haven't showed you this little area that I've got my mouse over. But basically, let's change the date. So if I want to know a bit more about kind of the sales that was happening in November. So I'm just going to change it to the first from the 1st of November to the 30th of November. Press apply. And then I'm going to click download full report. And then I need to go to my email. And if you use Hotmail, it'll be in your other, not your focused folder if you do. And anyway, so I'm gonna download that report from my email. So yeah, basically in in this report, it tells you all the products that were bought. Um, It tells you whereabouts, like the city and the country. And so I'm just giving you an idea, showing you, um, I'll have a screenshot instead so you can kind of see that a little clearer. Okay, so I've just zoomed in so you can't see any other personal details of this. But basically on this report, it tells you the country, obviously licenses, price, you can see in this photo or image or video, whatever I've got up here. But you can see majority of people that are buying. So we've got United States, Australia, Canada, 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 United States, Australia, United States, 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 Germany and Australia. So that's really interesting um, to see kind of where the people are buying from. So Germany is really interesting that someone's purchased from there. And then Obviously, Australia, I've had two uh, people from Australia that have purchased that. So I always find that really interesting because if you are obviously creating products, it's really important to kind of see where your buyers are from only because if, say, you've got majority of United States buyers, then maybe you can think about tailoring it more for that particular country, like if you wanted to do that. So a lot of my, I mean... TBT for starters is much more bigger in the United States than it is in Australia. Like I said, like there are a few friends that I do have that have heard of TBT and know of TBT as a teacher, but there are quite a few other teachers that I'm quite inter- like it's quite interesting that they have never heard of Teachers Pay Teachers and I've spoken to them like, oh, do you know what this is? They're like, oh, no, I haven't. What's that? Like, you know, so it's really interesting that it's quite big over in the United States and in Australia it's still like kind of up and coming, I guess you could say. I guess at least that's from my experience from what I've spoken to others about it. But yeah, I just thought it was really interesting to know. So if you wanted to get more details into what's happening, if you are looking at, you know, what's being sold, then that's um, an important thing you can have a look at when you're looking at your data and kind of what products are selling and what products are continuously or are recurring in their sales, like what keeps on selling. And I guess having a look at that and then seeing, oh, what kind of things that I could create that is like similar to that to, you know, enhance more people to be like serve more people, I guess, in a way of what people are liking. So yeah, just thought I'd add that in. Alrighties guys, so basically in summary on Talazo Clip Art, I was able to earn $68.48 this month of November. Not quite my budget, but still I'm happy with that as every sale and every dollar counts. And in my other store, my very first store I should say, I earned $225.71 to bring that to a total of a total of $294.19. So again, every dollar counts guys and they do add up. So both of my stores add up to, you know, for me in Australia, once that, once the payment goes through, it'll add up into Australian dollars when it transfers over. 
I'll get more than that an actual amount, $294.19. It might even be closer to $350 by the time it's converted into Australian dollars, which you know, that's a nice little bit of, you know, a little bit of pocket money that I can do something and put towards the business. And just, you know, it's just nice to have on the side while, especially being a stay at home, working one day a week, mum, like it's really nice to be able to be able to have that time and space to work sort of from home and build this up. So again, when I first started my first store, I never knew that I'll be earning a couple hundred per month on this. So I'm really passionate about this and don't get me wrong, I've worked my butt off. I've worked really hard to kind of put in the work to do this and I'm still learning and I'm still at the beginning of my journey. But I thought, you know, why not just share it share this beginning journey with you guys because you know there's always something to be learned and I have done a lot of researching into all of this kind of stuff and I, I personally really enjoy watching the income reports and I hope that maybe having that insight that maybe you enjoy this too if you're watching this video so um, I'm happy to kind of keep on sharing these income reports if you guys are liking this, these type of videos and yeah just kind of so you can follow the journey and see kind of how we go again TBT is definitely a marathon as they say, not a really fast sprint. So it's about not giving up and just like sometimes you have to work with having that delayed gratification even if something doesn't sell straight away just keep on plodding along okay guys so thank you if you've made it to the end you are amazing thank you so much for watching i do really appreciate that and that does help with my analytics on youtube so thank you if you've made it all the way through now i would just say that if you are somebody that does not work well with trying to keep a budget and trying to achieve that budget like I showed you in the video then don't stress yourself out doing that it works for some people it doesn't work for others what I do is something that things that I have shown you or things that I might have done throughout the video they might be things that you might like to adopt into your own teachers pay teachers like your tracking or it might be something that you you don't want to do and that's totally fine because it's your business and you do what you'd like to do I'm just kind of sharing kind of how I'm tracking things and sort of like how I've got my budgets to kind of aim for every month and I just think for me that works personally I don't get disheartened by that if anything it gives me fire to be like okay let's try and see if I can earn that or achieve that budget so I think money is something that really should be talked about and it shouldn't be something that's so taboo I mean we're 2021 you guys so to share that uh, knowledge with you guys and just be transparent I hope that you know me being vulnerable I guess in that way and just kind of sharing what you know I've been able to earn so far on this that it might be helping somebody to be like thinking you know oh maybe that is worth you know starting as something because for me like it's made a difference in my life and it's only like I'm only earning a couple hundred dollars at the month at the moment from TPT but that supplemental income has been helpful and it's been something that I've really enjoyed do, like creating for and I think if you're a creative person this could be something that you'd really enjoy too. So. If you do like these income reports guys I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel that you can guess click on and it will just go through all my income reports that you can play and just watch. So thank you guys once again I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Adios!